what is going on you guys welcome back to a, another video and to the channel so in this video I'm gonna be working on the F30 behind me here as you guys know in my last video I just had the GTS hood paint matched white after being black or un unpaint matched black for the last year and a half and I'm still definitely loving the look of the paint matched hood car looks a lot cleaner as mentioned in the last video now what I'm not really liking uh, as of recently is my front lip and front fang setup on my M Sport front bumper here. For those of you who have been following the channel, you guys know I literally just put this front lip and the front fangs on the car like back in November, so only like two and a half months ago. And initially I did like how it looked, but that only lasted like a month before I started not liking how this looks. So as a result, as you guys can guess, I'm gonna be changing the front lip once again. Now I've already changed uh, the front lip on this car maybe like three times now. This is gonna be the fourth time. So uh, nothing really new or different here, just the type of front lip is going to be different on the car once again and I'm going to show you guys as usual. Now the new front lip that I'm going to be putting on the car is the front lip I should have gone with at the beginning initially, but as I mentioned I like to be different, I like to try different things that not everyone else is doing, but um, the new front lip that I'm going to be putting on the car is just the cleanest front lip and it makes sense why everyone runs it and that is going to be the M Performance style front lip that I'll show you guys later in the video. But before I show you guys the new front lip, I just wanted to talk a bit about why uh, this front lip setup is just not doing it for me and why the M Performance style front lip is probably the cleanest, the best looking front lip for the M Sport front bumper on F30s. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it here. So looking at the car from the front here head on, um, you know, now looking at it through the camera, you can really see that cap between the hood and the bumper there on the driver's side. And I did mention that in my last video about the fitment issue with the GTS hood. Now I didn't mention it, I forgot to mention it in the video, I did try to adjust some of the parts on the car, like the front bumper and the hood. Um, but there's more I can adjust so I am going to attempt that again to get this hood fitment more symmetrical but I'm not going to go deep into that in this video I'm going to save that for another video so anyway looking at the car like I mentioned head on like uh, we are right now the car looks pretty clean like the front lip and front fangs don't look bad um, but from other angles like over here I really don't like how it looks more specifically, I really do not like how this part, or, or the sides of the front lip, have this little wing that sticks up, kind of like, you know, the wings on like an airplane, like a spaceship. Um, now I know I did mention that in the video when I first installed this front lip that I kind of don't like how this looks, uh, I don't like this look. Um, but I thought it looked okay since it didn't, you know, stick out. It just kind of hugged the side of the front bumper. But it still ended up bothering me because from this angle you can really see it. And it just really does not look good since I don't, I don't have the side skirts that have like a similar winged uh, appearance. I just have, you know, flat side skirts that kind of stick out a bit. So it just really doesn't flow well together with the side skirts. And I don't know, it just kind of looks off and I don't like how it looks. On top of that I just kind of don't like the look of this front lip just in general like the design of it and again I thought it did look good when I first put it on but you know like when you install a new part initially you think it looks cool because it's something different but you know after having it on the car for a while and after looking at it so many times you really start to see the little things little details you really don't like about the part you put on for me this front lip on top of that i also damaged the front lip i don't know if you guys saw it earlier but i cracked it right there and then across all right there i'm not even sure how that happened because i didn't um you know go hard into a dip or like hit the curb while pulling into a parking space um since i'm very careful with my front lips now after making that mistake um couple times already but yeah I still managed to somehow crack it uh, I'm guessing in my driveway at my house since it's kind of um, steep and I always end up scraping maybe just the pressure just cracked it there also you can see I also scrape 
the curb there on the side. I was trying to uh, parallel park. I got too close and that happened. So yeah, that's also contributing to why I don't want this front lip anymore. Uh, I just want something clean and undamaged. Now as far as the front fangs, I think they look okay. They don't look bad. I think they add a different look obviously to the front bumper itself since they don't go on the bottom. They go like on the front bumper around the uh, vents where the fog lights are, usually are, but mine doesn't have the fog lights. But honestly, I am going to take them off uh, once I put the new front lip on since those don't really look that well with the M Performance style front lip. And you'll see why once I have it on the car. So yeah, that's why I just want to get rid of this front lip and do the M Performance style. The M Performance style just has a much cleaner look, a much more symmetrical look, and it just looks more OEM, which is my style. So yeah, that covers all the details I wanted to go over about uh, this front lip. So let me show you guys the new M Performance style front lip. So here's the new M Performance style front lip. Um, and those of you who may not have known what the M Performance style is, Here's what it looks like. It's basically like having front splitters on the front bumper with a bottom lip. But with this lip, it's like one whole piece. It's not, you know, just splitters separate from the bottom piece. It's one whole piece uh, that fits onto the bumper. It's gonna look really similar to my setup I have on my E90, because I have splitters like these on the M4 bumper with a bottom flat lip that I just absolutely love. It is the perfect look for that car. I never had the urge to change the setup on that car because it just looked super clean and perfect. So yeah, I'm super excited to get this on the car. And as you guys can see, it's in forged carbon to match with everything else on the car. Now I've already prepped it. So I have put a scrape guard on the front here to prevent any damage, you know, going over dips and stuff. I use the Sliplo scrape guards again, which is the same uh, scrape guards I used on uh, my lip that I'm about to take off the F30. If you have a front lip, I definitely recommend getting some scrape guards. I'll leave a link to these from Amazon if you guys want to check these out for your front lip by any chance. So in addition to the scrape guards, I also ceramic coated it with this ceramic coating uh, solution here from also from Amazon. I'll link that uh, as well. As I've said before, definitely recommend ceramic coating for your carbon fiber pieces and just your car in general. Um, it gives it a very glossy look and it helps protect against sun damage and yellowing and fading from you know your carbon fiber forced carbon pieces being in the sun for long periods of time. So yeah, definitely recommend uh, using that on your carbon pieces as well. It's pretty easy to do. I have already done a video on it before, so that's why I didn't show you guys in this video. I usually I show you guys me doing that stuff, but Figured you guys don't want to see that since I've already done this, what, four times now with my front lips, so. For this video, I'm just going to be taking off the old front lip and putting this new one on. So I believe that is all of the context and everything for this front lip, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on removing the old front lip on the F30. So I have this new M Performance style front lip kind of just, you know, seated on the front bumper. I didn't bolt anything down yet. But the cool thing about this front lip is that the splitters on the sides kind of like hold on to the front or the sides of the bumper, uh, the, which makes it a lot easier to bolt down with like 
uh, this front lip and my previous JHP style front lips. It was kind of hard to install because it wouldn't hold on to anything. So I had to like hold it from the bottom in place. And then I had to like bolt it down with one bolt so it would stay in place and not fall off the bumper. So yeah, that's one cool thing I've noticed so far about this front lip. Now from what I can tell, uh, I only need to really bolt down this front lip in three spots. So obviously the one in the middle there, the other two would be on the sides here, one there, and then one there, underneath there. And initially I was actually thinking I was gonna need to use some double-sided tape to hold uh, the sides down where the splitters are, but I honestly don't think I'll need double-sided tape. I should just be able to bolt this down and it's kind of squeezing this area of the front bumper enough to the point where I may not even need the double-sided tape but I kind of have to see if I can get it into a good symmetrical position because right now there's kind of a gap there uh, but yeah I need to like kind of adjust this around to see if I can get it in a good spot so that there's not you know huge gaps or anything like that but uh, yeah already this front lip looks so much cleaner than my previous front lips so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to adjust this around and see if I can get this in a good symmetrical position on the front bumper. All right, so I made a couple adjustments on the front lip to get it to sit pretty flush against the bumper. Um, there are pretty bad gaps right here in this area on both sides, but I got it sitting pretty flush. There's a very, very minimal gap there that you can't really see from afar. And the reason there was a gap is because like there was part of the lip that was like pressing against the bumper, preventing it from going farther inward when I would push it against the bumper. And so I kind of just like, I use this, um, this tool here, I'm not even sure what it's called, but I kind of just like sanded the edge off to create more room on both sides. It worked perfectly because now, as you guys see, it sits very, very flush against the bumper in those areas. So I have bolted the front lip to the front bumper and everything is secure and I did my best to uh, get this front lip flush with uh, the bumper, with no gaps, and with the best you know symmetry I could get with all of the edges and everything lining up with the edges on the front bumper. But uh, this is a carbon fiber piece and it's really hard to get carbon fiber to be exactly symmetrical. So. It's not going to be perfect, you know, fitment, as you guys can see there. It doesn't fit, you know, neatly in that corner, but it's not that big of a deal. Overall, the front lip fits pretty good on the front bumper. And man, does this front lip look so much better. So clean. Uh, I absolutely love how this looks now. And I know I've said that before with my other front lips, but this one, like, this one looks really, really clean. I love how this one looks. As you guys can see, no gaps. Well, there's like a very, very small gap, but you can't really tell unless you're like this close to the front bumper. Same thing on this side, no gap, except my tiny little gap there. And then on the edges over here, there's a small gap here where it's not, you know, perfectly flush with the uh, bumper. And on the other side, same thing. This one's a little worse than the other side. Um, kind of a gap there. But like I said, this is the best we could do. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly where I bolted it to the front bumper. So the first bolt and most important bolt I would say is this one in the middle here. So I just simply drilled a hole into the front lip and the uh, bumper. As you guys can see, there's like just enough space to get a hole in the actual bumper and not go through this hole here. Uh, so yeah, I put a bolt and then a nut inside here to get this very, very secure. So this is not 
coming off. Um, it's going to take a lot of force to get this off. And then the other two bolts are on the side, so one there, and then one there. And those are actually screws, not bolts. Um, so yeah, one on each side, and I screwed it into like the, I don't know what the pieces are called, but like these bolts, there's like a little metal like clip that it like screws into. There's one of those over here or on each side, and I uh, screwed this screw into that to get a nice secure position there on both sides. Also one thing I kind of don't understand and wanted to point out is there's like a space here. There's a little gap so the screw has to go through this this uh, piece here and then there's another one on top before it gets to the actual bumper. So if you screw it in it starts to like scrunch this together since there's this gap there for some reason. And I didn't want it to do that since I was afraid it was gonna crack like the edge here of the front lip. So what you can do is like put a, like a, some object in here, some solid object that's pretty hard in between here and then that prevents it from scrunching together. So I just put in this uh, spark plug gapping tool in the opening right there to prevent it from scrunching it together. So yeah, that's one thing I wanted to point out um, that I came across that I feel like would be helpful if you guys are installing this front lip. Uh, for yourself so yeah i am super happy with how this looks so far um i'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything and then get the car back on the ground and i'll show you guys the final look with it on the ground and everything So here we have the completed look of the F30 with this new and performance style front lip. And like with my paint match GTS hood, I am so, 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 so glad I finally just went with this and performance style front lip because the car looks so, so much cleaner. Uh, I really can't believe how much better it looks. Like the car actually looks more complete and the M Performance style front lip just gives it a more OEM look, which is usually what I lean towards in regards to mods. But as I said, you know, I wanted to try, you know, different stuff that not everyone else is doing. But, you know, sometimes it's just better just to play it safe. You know, just do what everyone's doing because it has the cleanest look. There's a reason why everyone's doing, you know, that look is because it has the best look. And this M Performance uh, front lip pretty much just shows you guys why shows me why rather and I guess some of you maybe I noticed that the sides there now actually kind of flow better with the side skirt extensions because it has a very similar rounded edge so that is another plus I'm taking notice another thing about the M performance front lip is that since it has the bottom piece that kind of extends the bumper lower it kind of widens the front bumper as a whole from top to bottom. From factory, the M Performance front bumper looks kind of, you know, squished from top to bottom in some angles. Um, I've noticed that, but this lip helps with, you know, widening the front bumper, you know, top to bottom. So that's another thing I really like about this front lip. And another reason why I think it looks so much better than the other lips I've been running. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this new look of the F30 with the paint matched hood and this new M Performance front lip. All right, so there you guys have it. The new M Performance style front lip for the F30. Looks so good. I would think a lot of you guys would agree. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you liked what you saw. Also, feel free to check out the rest of my website, inline6auto.com for any other carbon fiber aftermarket accessories, lighting upgrades, and other stuff for your BMW F30 or BMW 90 and some other BMW models. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.